Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at what is the Lightning Usage app in Salesforce. It's a useful tool that you can use whenever you transition from Classic to Lightning, but I also think there's some other benefits to using it, even if your org is already fully in Lightning, to see what your users are doing and how they're logging in. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and put out new Salesforce content each week. And let's just jump into this. First off, to get to the Lightning Usage app, you're gonna to wanna to be in Setup and in Quick Find, you're just gonna type Lightning Usage, and then you can just click on it right here. Now it says right here, Lightning Usage. The Lightning Usage app tracks adoption and usage of Lightning experience, so you can monitor the progress of your transition and understand your users' needs. So you're just gonna hit View Usage Metrics. As you can see, they'd open up in a new window for us here, and we can see monthly active users. There is one. Now, I'm the only one logging into my sandbox org, and you can see that daily active users. Yesterday was one. I was using my org. And then um, you can see here we have monthly active users, and you can see how many users have logged in. And you have daily active users as well. And then based on the profile, so if you have multiple profiles in your org, you can see which profiles are logging in for the past seven days. Now, over here on the left, we have a bunch of different tabs. So this is Lightning Experience. And then there's also Salesforce Mobile. Now, there's no data in here because I haven't logged in on the mobile app. But if there was users logging in, this information would be filled out. So like monthly active users, daily active users, monthly um, key metrics up here. And then also which profiles. I find this tab extremely helpful, especially if you're wanting to gain understanding of how many of your users are actually using the mobile app versus desktop experience. So if you are planning new releases, you can see, oh, 20% of our users are using the mobile app. We need to put more effort into optimizing it. Or if it's just 2%, maybe you need to put some of your efforts into other projects that benefit the desktop app more versus the Salesforce mobile app. And then over here on usage, we have switches to classic. So if you have that ability turned on in Salesforce um, for now, you can see who's switching back and forth and to see how many users are. And it's basically the same information um, as the other ones, but down here it breaks, it breaks it down by top 10 switches by user and it switches by profile as well. You can also see what browser, I always use Chrome, so you can see that is what is logging into this and performance as well. This is super cool because you may notice that Chrome does better than Internet Explorer or Edge or Firefox, or maybe it Internet Explorer does better or um, Edge. So you can kind of get that breakdown here. And then we have the page tab. And then this just tells you what are the most viewed pages, where it's account record, um, home page, setup for the home page, flow, list views. And then it also has performance of uh, which is the most viewed pages and then their performance as well. They also have like a slowest um, desktop record pages loading. And as you can see, this could be really good if you have a app or a page that is loading slowly. It may be time to go in and try to optimize that page to decrease load times to, you know, increase user adoption. And then over here, we have the active licenses. So you can see how that's broken out. You can also find out this information on the company information page as well. But these are permission set licenses, feature licenses, and you can see uh, who has you know signed, active, all that jazz, but you can get that information on the company information screen. And then lastly, we have login metrics. We have daily password free logins, monthly password free logins, and then breaking down for MFA, single sign on, and all that jazz here, but it's only me logging in under my admin, so none of this information is filled out, but it's super useful. In my opinion, I think the Lightning Usage app is a underrated tool. I think it's a great tool as an admin to be able to use in your daily operation to see, especially who's using mobile, which pages are loading great, slow, fast, and all that. But if you found this video informative, please leave a like. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.